Good morning. How is everyone um, getting ready to paint? I was working on this. I'm working on a really big painting right now. I had a little bit of extra time this morning because my daughter's friend picked her up for school, which was precious. I didn't get a lot done, but I'm a little more organized than I usually am for you guys. Um, this morning, I'm going to paint a daisy. I've painted it many times, but because I love it. Um, but I'm going to paint it on gold foil. So hopefully you'll be able to see this okay. Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Julie. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. Good morning. All right, I'm going to turn this around and see if I can get this figured out. I'm going to paint this daisy. I love it. And I'm, I'm going to have to move the light off the, the gold foils. I thought it might be too reflective, but it's worth a try. All right, let me move that even further away. Okay, I'm looking to see where the shadows are. Hi, Linda. Hopefully I'll be in for a treat in a little bit. Linda owns my local favorite coffee shop. <clears throat> Right, is that good? You can see enough of each. Um, so I went a little bit of the gold foil to show through in the painting. I have to turn a little bit of light for me here. I have to figure out how to light this better so that you can see it and so can I, but I'm not sure. Okay, let me think here what I need. I need my medium. <clears throat> and I want to play around with some um, different colors in, in the whites. I'm trying to learn more about painting whites. <clears throat> it's always something to learn, right? And that's the fun part about painting. The learning never ends. I already love it. Okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> How is everybody today? Oh, good, Linda. I'm having a little hard time seeing. Once I get this mapped in, it won't be as hard to see. I think I can see what's on here. I just can't see my grid. I should try and paint without a grid. And one of my big goals is to paint um, with no photo. I would love to paint from life, too. I just haven't had the time to practice with that yet either. I have a lot of goals. I'd love to paint more um, like uh, people. I would love to do portraits, like learn how to do them. Like the calm, beautiful ones. Coffee in hand. Oh, good, Julie, me too. I have my coffee. Do you guys have one of these Yetis or what's the other ones called? A corksicle? They're amazing. They really do. They keep my coffee hot. When I'm painting, I forget to drink my coffee sometimes. And I come back to it hours later and it's still hot. We were saying it's like, like, it reminds me of my dad's thermos when I was growing up that he would take to work every day. I wonder if they'll come out one of these days with a cork sickle or a Yeti that has the um, little cup on top. I used to have a little cup on top of the thermos and that's, he would drink out of that. Do you guys, anybody of you remember those thermoses? They might still make them. Might be kind of kitschy fun for one of those companies to make. Yeah, so I've been working on this larger painting. I have a show. I found out I was accepted into a show in Arlington, Virginia in April. And I don't have a lot of big paintings, so I've really got to focus on making some. I had done um, a big painting. It's a sunflower. I don't know if you guys remember when I was working on that. And I wasn't sure if I loved it. And then I showed it to my niece the other day, and I really, her opinion is she's got great taste. Um, and she really liked it, so now I like it. <laughs> That's already fun, isn't it? Okay, and I tore up some of these paper towels so I'm ahead of the game. 
and slowing down. That's one of the things I need to work on this year is not hurrying through everything I do. It's a tough thing to learn. Okay, put some background color in here. The gold foil, I had already prepared this like a long time ago. Back, I was doing a lot of gold foil for a while and, and then I stopped. I don't know if it's because it feels wintry to me or I'm just always experimenting, I guess. All right. Good morning. Morgan, I'll be in to see you. Are you working today? Morgan works for Linda at the coffee shop. Geneva Bakery, if any of you are from this area, it's a hidden treasure. Great people, great sweets and treats, great coffee, great atmosphere. Good morning. Um, let me think what I'm doing here. Should I make the background a little darker? I probably should. Maybe I'll do this. It's just too light. The fun thing about doing it on the gold foil is peeling off the tape at the end because it's like almost a surprise how cool it looks with a, a hard edge. Um, when I was in college, we did a lot of drawing and would um, tape things off like in watercolor and I love doing that. Watercolor and drawing. I love, used to love doing pencil drawings. So I'll have to show you. I have one that I did from the movie Reds a long time ago, and it's in my bedroom, and it makes me happy every time I see it. Okay, I think. <laughs> That's okay. I always do crazy things on this, too, like type things I don't mean to. <laughs> Just fun, right? Or write to the wrong person. And the social media part of all of it is a lot to keep up with, a lot to pay attention to. Like if I, if you ever write to me and I don't respond, it's probably because I read it at some odd time and thought, oh, well, I will respond later. But later never comes when I, unless it pops back into my brain and it's usually like when I'm driving, when I don't have anything else going on. And then, of course, I can't solve it, and then I forget again. I'm the most forgetful person. I swear I don't retain anything for more than five minutes, and everything just floats through my brain, and when it comes back, if I, if I can solve it right away, I'm good, but otherwise it's gone. Okay, so I'm going to mix some white, so I'm going to turn this. a little wacky, doesn't it? Can you see that okay? Shoot. What am I going to do here? There, that's probably better. You're kind of in my lap. Okay. I'm going to turn the light over a little bit because it's really dark for me. Good morning, Dawn. Hi, Sandy. They're both my sisters. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to mix a cool... I think I'm going to do a cool and a warm white and I'm going to start with white, a warm and a cool. So do you see, can you tell that's warm and that's cool? So the warm is this Gamblin warm white, love it. And my new white that I am totally smitten with is this Fasari flake white. Fasari paints are amazing. Um, <clears throat> they're expensive and you have to buy a hundred dollars worth at a pop 
So I always have to like run out of a lot, but I only have this much of my um, Indian yellow, which I use a lot. So it might be time to get some. I kind of think they might be having a sale on whites right now. Okay, so this is a cool white. And then for, so I, <clears throat> one of the people I follow is named Katie, I think it's Katie G. Whipple. And she paints the most stunning flowers and she has a post in her feed about whites and she talks about using um, a bunch of different colors but for the cool color she uses I mean not not exclusively but it was something she plays around with which I had already had this old Holland violet gray which is right here I'm gonna put some of that in my cool white Maybe I need more white in it. That's way too much color. So this is kind of experimenting for me, too. Love playing around with new things. Okay, so that's very cool. And my light on the subject is cool. I don't want more white. And I just had it in my hand. Oh, here it is. All right, and then my warm white, I'm going to add um, oh, this genuine Naples yellow. Let's see. Oh, no, that's not it. That's not what I wanted. No, that's not what I wanted. I want this. <clears throat> that's um, really cool. I want this yellow. Let's put it right there. This is... Um, genuine Naples yellow light. <clears throat> Let's put a little bit of that in here. Now it's a very warm white. I'm going to mix that with this a little bit too up here. See how warm and how cool. So I can play around with those as a base. And then I need my... Um, warm shadows of my um, the center part. I'm going to add some that's good. And I, I said that was warm. Warm. Add a little bit of this. So I always try to work on knowing warm and cool colors, but often they don't really matter the warm and cool because because it depends on what color it's next to. So it's so complicated because if, if you put two colors next to each other, something that is warm or cool might not necessarily look warm or cool. Um, and let me make a background kind of um, bluish green I'm going to make. I'll do it over here. And now I think I need a new palette. Now that I'm painting larger more. This palette is so tiny. Um, that's more green than I want it. It's a nice, nice dark. Um, I'm going to add um, this and see how it looks. Oh, that's pretty, right? All right, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't see it. Okay, so that's a good start of some colors. <clears throat> I love seeing when people do really big paintings and they um, mix out, mix up all their colors. Well, that's not gonna work, you can't see a thing. Now, wait a minute here. I can't get this thing to stay up. Sorry to take you on that ride. All right, I gotta turn the light away. Is that good? Right, I need a sip of coffee. Other thing I want to try to do this year is <coughs> wear gloves when I paint. <clears throat> I think that it's much safer. I get paint all over myself. As I said in my <laughs> post the other day, I'm, I'm a messy person. <clears throat> okay. I, uh, <clears throat> the 
little bit of trouble seeing this, but I think it'll work. Yeah, I think that's why I never did a demo like this on gold. I mean, maybe I did once, but <clears throat> it is hard for me to see and for you to see. Yes, I was saying I'm going to be at a, an outdoor art show in um, <clears throat> Arlington, Virginia in the beginning of <clears throat> April, so I need to be ready for that. And I was also asked to do a first Friday in Lancaster in April, and I have my second uh, oil painting workshop the day after the gallery thing so I might have to I'm really bad at saying no to things I never know which things to say no to and they always say you have to say no to things to make room for the things that you really want to do but I never know which things to say no to especially with my art I don't say no to anything really Looks pretty good. It's hard to tell now. I've got to add some other things around it so I can see <clears throat> what I do and don't like here. Maybe I should put some of the background in too. You can let me know if you have any questions, too. <clears throat> Sometimes when I'm painting, I forget to talk. Um, is everybody busy making goals for the new year? I keep getting all these blog posts and printing out things, and I want to make all these amazing goals, and it overwhelms me. <clears throat> Sometimes I think I have enough goals. <clears throat> But you have to make goals for the things you really want to do. I know that. <clears throat> and I'm trying to find a way, too, to <clears throat> make my art a little more whimsical and fun. Oh, you know what? I didn't do my uh, RNF paint sticks. Do you think I should do that? What do you think? Uh, why not, right? I can do that. <clears throat> I love my little paint sticks. I made a full set of these things. Here they are. This is my bucket of paint sticks. Oh, and I'm not going to move. I'll put this forward so you can kind of see. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit. Yes, I love these too. They are amazing. And it's funny, I used to always think, how can, like, painters, like, paint with their painting so far away? And my painting's, like, more than a full, well, it's a full uh, arm length away from me. <clears throat> I think little by little, I move it further and further away. And see my paint running in here? I love that. I love the little, I love to keep a little bit of that in here. I 
think this helps add to the whimsy a little bit too. Hi, Jennifer. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a little bit of this turquoisey color. Why not? And I think sometimes using these paint, the paint sticks get a little film on them. I have to clean off. Thank you. Do a little bit of this down in here. And in here. And I like to try to add a little bit of my background color into the actual subject too. Okay. Now we've got these are the messiest things. Look at my hands. I make a mess. Can't help it. It's probably never gonna stop. As much as I might like it to. I'll do one more color here for fun and then we'll go back to the the brush. I, I need new brushes too. Well I, I ordered a lot of supplies for my my art workshop and of course needed to get a few new supplies for myself too. Been starting to think about that. I still have one or two spots left in my workshop if anybody is nearby and would like to come. And I also um, asked everybody about if I'd do a workshop in New Hope, Pennsylvania, because I have a great place I could have it there. And I got a great response, so I just have to pick a date, like layer over layer, is it? IT, is it layer over layer? Um, yeah, well, I had a transparent layer underneath there, and then I did these paint sticks just because I think they're really fun and they loosen me up a little bit and I end up adding some colors in there that I might not otherwise and then um, but I had forgotten I usually do it before I start actually painting but so every time I paint I try to think about something that I'm learning until it becomes natural like driving as I'm thinking about that, because I'm teaching my youngest to drive right now, but things become a habit if you keep thinking about them. And like, there are so many things to think about that add to a painting, like edges, whether your edges are hard or soft, or, um, you know, values and, and all the regular stuff, like, um, you know, your color relationships, warms and cools. I also have been um, binge watching Brian Rutenberg's um, videos on YouTube. Um, if you've never heard of him, look him up. They're wonderful. They're little 15 second videos, which is or not 15, 15 minute, which is right up my alley because I can fit that in. A dark green. Yeah, the upper background color I think I made with, I think it was cobalt green, a little bit of black, a lot of ultramarine blue. And when I lighten it a little bit, I'm using, no, wait, I tried to keep my colors out because I always forget to tell you what they are. This, I love this. This is like my very favorite color, this Vasari Video Blue Extra Pale. Whoops, I'm sorry. You're welcome. Sorry, I need some of my coffee. It's amazing my coffee my coffee cup's not full of paint. Oh, I got this cool mug the other day. It was an impulse purchase, and I haven't used it because I like my coffee pot, but is this not the cutest thing? It says Scatter Joy, XO Emerson. I got it from, I think it's called the Freckled Farmhouse, I think. Actually, it was one of those things. I saw it on Instagram, had to have it, and um, I love it. I love this lot. 
what I do with my paintings, try to. Joy and hope. Alexa, lower. I always have to watch that I have that on because if I post this then on um, uh, I don't know if I like that color on YouTube it won't let me because it all I have it's copyrighted music so I have to turn it down. Whoops. Now I got paint on my phone. Whoops. All right. What do we think so far? Is it reckless crazy? Maybe a little bit. I do want to try to let a little bit of that <clears throat> gold show through here and there. Hmm. All right. It's fun, right? I have to keep the fun and not, not uh, accidentally lose it here. So I do that push things too far they lose the magic whoops I'm <laughs> sorry this is so right in front of me I keep bumping it try not to I do want to create an online course too I have to keep that on my to-do list for this year all right, so I have to think about what's in light and what's in shadow. I keep my shadows cool and my highlights. This is a nice place to let some of that gold show through. All right, I need a little dark in here. And this is bigger than I usually do. I can't get my little panels. I'm all out of them, and I can't find them anywhere. They're all on back order. I'm not sure why, but <clears throat> I'm a little bummed, but I guess that's a lesson that I need to, a message that I need to uh, um, play with something different, right? Like bigger. I definitely need to paint larger more. Um, no, but that's a good idea, Julie. I could do that. Um, Someone sent me these little scraper things. I could play with them. The little makeup, makeup things. I could. I might do that. That's a great idea. Um, Sorry, I got so quiet there. Um, <clears throat> does anybody have any questions? I need to put in some cool, cool lights in here.
Jackie on the elliptical oh what a great plan I need to be doing the elliptical myself I am not fitting in working out and I really have to work on that I used to work out a lot more than I do now and it's not a good thing to not be doing it that's that little bit of edge there so I am envious of your working out I need to do that. I actually would love to get up and, um, oh, that's too strong. I would love to wake up in the morning and, um, like do yoga or something before I do this. One of these days I'll get to do that. And life's a little simpler. But I can't fit it all in. I can't work full time. Whoops. That's a little thick there. I love the thickness, but then it won't dry for like ever. <laughs> oh, I guess. Only on this on this painting thing, which I do love. Um So when you're doing the colors, you really have to think about um, just because something's in shadow doesn't mean that it's darker or lighter. There's light areas that are in shadow and there are dark areas. Am I saying that right? Just because it's in the shadow, it could be just as light as a color that's in the light. So that's how you have to like balance out the warms and cools, which is a lot to think about. Is it all too crazy? What do you think? What do you think? I need some more warm, more warms in here. Some more. That's what I need. Them to be a highlight here. Just backing up to it. And so I need to think about some true little hi highlight areas. Um, Brush is dirty. Um, <clears throat> right here. an important little spot and so is that thanks Lou okay so I think that I'm almost finished here and I had a schedule way ahead of schedule today
And when I do these little last detail things, I always hold my breath. That's why I can't talk at the same time. It's silly. Is that white enough? Now wait, let me get. Let me turn the light on it so I can see a little better. Ooh, I've got a lot of gold showing through more than I realized. Can you see that better? Let's look at it this way a little bit. Um, all right. Oops. Yeah, maybe I need some reds in there. Whoops, I don't want that line, do I? Soften that. And... I'm pretty close here and I love like there are some little spots where things are running I love that I'm trying to keep more of that in my paintings and not have it be so finished or something any spots I need to work on. Yep, I'm just using this one brush. It's a, a Monarch flat number 12. I think my favorite is the 14, but I don't seem to have any of those here anymore. I mean, that aren't tattered. I do have all these brushes, but most of them, look at them all. Most of them are tired. All right, I'll show you a little closer there. So what do you think it needs? Anything? We pull off the um, tape. It's really the fun part. Any other lights? Do I have my lights light enough? Are my darks dark enough? Is my value range okay? Um, I think so. Okay, let's take that. Oh, I need to sign it. I always almost forget that. Let me sign it right here. And let's pull the tape off. right isn't that fun and then this is one I had done a while ago it's actually I painted it magenta underneath I don't know if you can see some of that shining through and then I did gold foil and on the sides I painted it gold with what I usually do my sides with is this um let me get it for you uh it's called Matisse oh, I can't even see it and then I did gold foil stripes so so the sides are fun, and voila. So, that was quick. I was actually afraid that painting an 8x8, it was going to take me too long, but it didn't. Um, so thanks for stopping by and watching. I will um, do my best to post this on YouTube if I get a chance. If I'm ahead of schedule, maybe I'll get to work early today. And, um, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions, and I will see you again next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Thanks for coming, and I hope you all have a fabulous day.
bye